Hello, chat. Hello, hello. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for the hydrate. I totally forgot to get water, so, um... That's fine. <laughs> Look, gender cool necklace. Thank you. It's new. It's from Khan. <laughs> I got it because it reminds me of Jade. I got it because it reminds me of Jade. But hello, everybody. Welcome in. If you did not know, for the past uh, four days, I've been at Denver Fan Expo. Technically, it's still going on, but we headed out early because uh, we were real tired. But it was like good tired. It was good. Like your nails. Thank you. They are currently painted blue for. They were painted blue for the for the light dragon, and then uh, today Ray got to have blue nails. <laughs> Ray, uh, Ray got to have blue nails as well, but I have many, many a thing from from y'all and for y'all. Kind of fun. Left early and is now watching from the airport. So valid. I so valid. I have things from y'all. I have photos for y'all. We got stuff. I met people. It was very fun. It was a good a good time. So usually this con is three days. This is, I think the second year they've had it a four day con, but the first time it's been like a full on four day con. It was so much, there was so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I guess I gotta figure out what we do first. Do we do photos? Do we do pictures? Do we do little, little things? Do I open stuff from y'all? I kept most of the things I was handed I did not like open until now uh because i didn't i didn't want to you know items we have uh, items was said first so items it shall be <laughs> let's see let's see ba -ba -ba -bum. there's not too too many things so i think we can do items first there's not too too many how's that so First of our items, I will I will go with these guys because cute thing, y'all. Uh, not only did I get things, but y'all made stuff for Daniel. That was really cool. So this time, we have a potion that is a ray themed potion and a fable themed potion. They have dice on top. So they got D and D dice on top. Ray's has an eye and moss and things. Fables has sparkly gold bits. <laughs> it's very fun. We also have a absolute horde. I'm going to open all the bags that have all of them in them. <laughs> a horde of ducks. <laughs> I have a horde of ducks now. Uh, so I have a ray duck, a vast duck, and a theo duck. We have a horde of ducks. And on top of my ducks, Daniel got a fable duck. <laughs> fable duck. <laughs> Emo Nemo did these. Yes. Yes, we got the ducks. Oh, they have their little names on the bottom. That's so cute. They have their little names on the bottom. So we have an absolute horde of ducks. <laughs> I've been given a horde. A horde of ducks. Let's see. I also, okay, this one I thought was really cool. A little kind of like trinket for Vast in colors. I feel like this is so something that a magpie would give him. I think that's so cute. I think this is really cute. I think this is so a thing that like a magpie would like bring him. It's got beads and the colors that he likes. And it's black and white. It's got a little feather charm on it. And I feel like it would be something that Vast would be like, uh-huh, that's cute. And then, like, would secretly hoard it forever. <laughs> From the same person, also, was a pair of Ray-inspired earrings. Which have stars and moons and lots of purples. I think they're very cool. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. And then let's see. Okay, the next ones I have are all like little drawings and stuff. So let's see. Let's see. Wow. So from Teensy, we got Theo Art. 
And remember, my camera is flipped if things look a little funny. My camera is flipped. <laughs> so, we got Theo artwork. We got, I think, also a note. But I will save the notes because I am dyslexic as hell and struggle and am silly and can't read. And I never want to, like, accidentally dox someone if they put something. But I have a little note from them as well. Okay, I'm so curious because this one says it's labeled from Teen Cosplay. It's Ray as a snake. <laughs> he has a coffee cup! <laughs> I love him! Oh, he's going on the fan art board. He absolutely has to go on the fan art board. That's wonderful. This one is really funny. I Daniel loved it, and... Uh, so... Not only do we get Fable, we also got Fubble! <laughs> we got Fable and Fubble. It's wonderful. I like it a lot. I think it's so funny. And then, okay, this one I'm so curious about. They were gonna send it to my, uh... They were gonna send it to my P.O. box, but then ended up having time to just be able to just take it to me instead. So... Oh, it's like... Wrapped up. <laughs> oh, geez. Hello. You were meant to be shipped. What... What are you? What? Oh, my gosh! <gasps> Yo! Okay, so the first part... Are two sets of earrings. And the two sets... Are little hearts little pride hearts and then also little non-binary ones that's so cute oh my god those are so cute shut up okay there's another thing there's a secret thing last thing that we will open before i show you pictures okay let's see what are what are you hiding so secure. Oh, I'm still unwrapping. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, yo! That's cool! Okay, camera flipped moment. Lol. But it's like a little Saturn planet, but it has my little logo on it instead. That's so cute! That's so cute! That's awesome. Yo! That's really cool. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you so much to everyone that like ran into us and gave us little things. That's so cute when you guys give us little trinkets. It's really cool. I like, I, it just, it's, it's neat. <laughs> it's neat. I'm just so impressed at the stuff that you all make. And it's why I like opened a PO box because even though it doesn't get like a ton of stuff, when it gets a thing, it just, it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. <laughs> okay. Would you all like to see pictures? Would you all like to see pretty pictures? Because we brought the pretty camera to the first two days of con. We brought, we've got pretty, pretty things. Forgotten the P.O. Box command. I think it's just P.O. Box, ex exclamation point P.O. Or is it exclamation point P.O. Box? It's exclamation point P.O. Box. Thank you, Saf Masi. Thank you, Masi. <laughs> okay. Now then, it's time for pictures. So on the first day, I went as Vast. <laughs> first day, I went as Vast. Oh, and I should say, sub goal, detailed dragon stream what that means is like last year how we made a really cool con book build book uh it wouldn't be the full build book because we did that for the competition this year we didn't compete because we had a bad time with last year's competition but we would dell would love to come over and us to do an in detail talk about how we built our day two and three con cosplays but vast look at the full wings they are done so Vast got the full new wings. Uh, also, I made a uh, bracelet. I made a if we beep, 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 beep. made a signal bracelet. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Uh, fun fact, you'll get to see more of this cosplay very soon. I may be planning things. But uh, on the back, the uh, p there are panels that are interchangeable so that I can swap out if Vast's wings are fully magpie wings, if they are plucked, or if they have the uh, hummingbird green feathers on them. So, that's pretty cool. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. So, Dell came with me to Khan and went as Kalia for the first day, which was really fun. She made her own little feather ears, and she can't do the same kind of contacts that I, I did, like, full, like, whiteout boys. I did mesh boys for the first half of the day. I ended up taking them out because I got tired of not being able to see. <laughs> but uh, she can't do that because she needs, like, prescription contacts, so she did gray contacts. But Kalia, uh, and it was really fun to just, we grabbed a pair of wings that... Uh, I ordered real quick so that she could still have wings and we were a little set uh, <laughs> Daniel went all four days of con as Climbing link from breath of the wild <laughs> and fun fact Daniel actually made most of his cosplay uh, particularly the shirt we even had our friends be like, oh, where did you buy his shirt? He completely s sewed that shirt. And then I uh, made a stencil and uh, fabric spray paint to make the actual design on the front. And then we put together a bunch of belts and ropes and I like braided ropes and he put his climbing shoes on his belt. Uh, the pants... He was actually sewing an entire pair of pants as well. And then the pattern was evil and failed and brutal and none of us could read it properly. And so we ended up going and getting a pair of pants that I then uh, sprayed the design onto. But it was really fun. He made, he sewed his own bandana. He sewed the shirt. Uh, he had such a fun time, like actually really sewing his cosplay. And people recognized him. People totally like, could tell that he was climbing Breath of the Wild Link. It was really fun. And I'm a silly little dork who likes to make sure that we take silly selfies. So we always have to take silly selfies together. It's a rule. It's a rule. <laughs> to me, it's a rule. Uh, this was a fun one just to kind of show the wings laid out on the back of the wings. You can see uh, I went to con with them with the... Uh, silk feathers in there so I had the little green hummingbird feathers in there and that was really it was just really fun it was fun to have the wings like laid out all the way you can't even lay them all the way across a queen size bed or a king size bed this might be a king I don't remember and me being a dork because I gotta but we just had a good time uh, doing some little photos outside there we go. You can get some of the, the fun, not with the pretty camera, but some of the fun action shots of us just goofing around before going into the con. How did I make the fabric panel? Oh, yeah! I totally made a fabric panel. Um, yeah, so I made a fabric panel by getting the same type of fabric that is the jacket fabric. And then I just cut around where it uh, needs to attach for the straps and stuff so that you can basically hide the jacket uh, with the wings. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I think this is the last of, is this the last? There we go, that's the last of my, my day one. So day one was a fun, vast day. Uh, it was good. I ended up ditching the contacts halfway through the day because I realized that part of the reason I like to go to con is to go see everything in Artist Alley and I wasn't getting to see things. I I could see, but I couldn't see well. So I'm, I'm a, I was a sad little boy. So I, I ditched my contacts halfway through the day so I could actually do the thing that I enjoy doing at con, you know? So the next day, I'm not listening to the fine print while I show off my cool dragon. Shush you. <laughs> what a 
great one to start with. What a great one to start with. <laughs> Let's go to an actual thing. Oh, I want one that's... There we go. So, if you did not know, uh, Del and I, for our main cosplays this year, did the two locations that you find the Master Sword in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. So, in Breath of the Wild, you find the Master Sword at the Great Deku Tree. So, we both did big dresses. And uh, she had a ton of Koroks, little Koroks guys that she sculpted. She has, uh, I think, five of them on her, including Hetsu is all on there. And then I was kind of, the dress itself is kind of supposed to look somewhere like the sky and like uh, a silent princess flower. And then I did the dragon. Uh, she ended up being like... I think 11 feet long. I want to do a final measurement of how long she ended up with. But yeah, if you recognize this dress as Isla's wedding dress, it was originally made for this cosplay. We just realized we could also use it for Isla. <laughs> but all of the flowers are designed to be uh, Silent Princess flowers so that it matches that. Uh, so <laughs> this was our silly, uh, you know, light dragon nomming on a nomming on a on a Korok, because we're silly. But some fun details. Uh, I have, uh, my hair is meant to look like Zelda's hairstyle, but in white, because I'm supposed to be like the, not really Zelda herself, but just like the sky and the dragon and just, it wasn't, I didn't want to literally look like Zelda wearing the Zelda dragon. I wanted to look like the dragon. <laughs> But I love this photo of Dell a lot. I think it's really pretty. We took some really pretty outside shots. Uh, you can see, look how pretty my puppet is. Isn't it cool? I also was wearing big contacts. There were uh, mini scleras and big old eyelashes. So, and I have the time stone uh, on my chest. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, multi-purpose dress. Yeah, it was my wedding dress, and now it's been for two cosplays. It's great. How did Del do her eyelashes? Okay, Del's eyelashes, she made. She made those lashes. She got a pair of lashes, and then she made, she cut tiny little petals from the flowers that she used and made these gorgeous fucking lashes. They're so big. <laughs> they were very heavy for her, but they were very cool. She did so much work on her dress. She fully made her dress. I cheated. I just dyed a dress. She fully sewed a dress. But, yeah. It's cool. I I love this. You can see, I think you can see in some of these, yeah, you can see the dragon holds my shoulder with one of her arms. And then her other arms wrap around me. But, oh, I like this photo. This photo is pretty. Look at that. That's so cool. You get, uh, the dragon has a tear in her eye. So you have the dragon tear. You have the look off to the side. It's so cute. And the master swords, we both are wearing the proper master sword. So I'm wearing the corrupted master sword and she's wearing the full sized master sword. But look at us together. Look how pretty they are. They're, ah, brah, brah. I think they look really cool together. I think it's really fun to get to see both big dresses actually all together. We spent so long on these and they're just so fun. So fun. We had such, such a good time putting them all together and people loved these cosplays. We had a really fun time. I have been stalking Instagram to see if people have posted pictures of us from con because we got stopped for photos so much. We did not get very far on the con floor ever without needing to stop. Um, and kids were so funny because kids were like either absolutely like, oh my god, princesses, they're so cool, and your dragon, I want to pet it. Or they were like, that's terrifying. Get it away from me. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the flower neckline. It's I like the flower neckline. I think it's pretty. <laughs> but yeah, kids terrified or in love. No in between. I also had Daniel take pictures of me because then we were we were Link and Zelda. Come on. At that point, we were Link and Zelda together, and that that's just cool. One of the stores had a little one of the one of the stalls in Artist Alley had a little little floofer guy, a little tiny stuffed version of the light dragon. And when we walked up, they were so excited. And I want to hunt them down. I want to see if we grabbed their card. I think we did, but I really want to uh, find their Instagram because they took pictures. As they took this picture as well of me holding the little dragon so that we could we could hold, you know, the big dragon and the little dragon together. <laughs> they were so cute. We also are just silly and every year they bring a bunch of stuff to do Star Wars photo shoots. So we went over to the Star Wars photo shoot area and we're just dicking around, um, being very silly. I love this one because they have the same face. <laughs> same face. And then I'm silly and got the dragon to hold the gun. <laughs> So we were we were we were silly. OMG, look who I found! It's a Quixis. Uh, over the time of Con, we found several Ray cosplayers, two Vast cosplayers, Quixis cosplayer, and a Athena cosplayer. Oh, and a Sherbert cosplay. We found a Sherbert cosplayer as well. It was very fun. So we got to see many people. We did a whole. There was a whole like meetup of all of the Zelda. Uh, we had a big group of Zelda cosplayers that all came together and had such a fun, fun time doing a big old photo shoot together. And we did, you know, cute, cute group shot. I like this photo. It's so fun. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's see if we get. That's why that. Okay, yeah, my my some some of the silly like getting ready photos. This was me. <laughs> so fun fact, underneath these dresses, we're just wearing tennis shoes. We're just wearing tennis shoes. So I have my silly little two second video of just kicking my feet, kicking my feet. <laughs> uh, of just here, let me let me get, let me wear my little tennis shoes, comfy comfy shoes because these cosplays were intense. Oh hey, look at that. It's Princess Zelda. <laughs> so, on the third day, Del's girlfriend came with us as a Yiga clan member. So all four of us together were a big old group. But uh, the voice actress for Princess Zelda was at con. So we went and said hello. She signed the dragon's tail. So she signed my puppet. Uh, and thought it was so cool that she took pictures of us <laughs> and then i was like can i also get a picture with you <laughs> and she was like oh my god right yes correct so she was like right yes let's take a picture together <laughs> but uh she had like her assistant record her signing my dragon so that she can like post it on Instagram. I've been like on her Instagram since saying like, I want to see when you post this so bad. So uh, Patricia Somerset might be posting a picture of us and I think that would be really cool. <laughs> oh yeah, you got you like Dora in the corner, kind of funny. <laughs> and I'm a little gay dork and wanted to kiss my husband about it. And thought it was cute, because look at us, we're adorable. Also, Daniel's fun, and already did an edit of one of our cosplay photo shoots <laughs> into the background of the actual game. <laughs> so, that was day, like, two and three. We were very, uh, overall good. The dragon did break 
at one point. She she had a little bit of a of a bad time. Uh, we had two of her little support strings. And there's little strings that are holding me together. That uh, the not the string itself broke, but the connection that was holding it to things snapped. Uh, and I had to go like safety pin the shit out of it. But we were lucky. I live. I didn't live. I. Bleh. I got a hotel very, very close to the con, so it was really easy to just pop over and fix it and then pop right back after taking a little break. And so it worked out pretty well. Yep, safety pins for the win. <laughs> safety pin for the win. <laughs> well, we are, hope you lived, hey? I did live. I survived. <laughs> I survived the snapping of dragon strings <laughs> oh yeah yeah if you saw me okay when the dragon broke i had to like put her over my shoulders and that one was funny that one was uh, i was just carrying the entire dragon over my shoulders and daniel was holding her head so it looked a little silly when we had to leave <laughs> to go fix that <laughs> so today i only have a few little photos from today it was on the vast he ran by with, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Today, whoops. Why are you showing twice? What? What? Who is this? What are you doing here? Go away. Why are there two of you? Why are there two of you? <laughs> Boop, there we go. There it goes. Today was the last day. It was... Wondering, what's the correct pronunciation of Vast Laugh's name? Kadere is how I say it, at least. Kadere. But yeah, Ray was my last day, and Del was going as Crowley. And it was fun because uh, Ray Day, I found more Rays. <laughs> Ray Day, I found more Rays. <laughs> So I think that was fun. Wait, shut up. Oh my god. Okay, fun fact. Both of them actually did Ray's scar on the correct side. I'm a silly little loser who's so used to filming uh, flipped that I have Ray's scar on uh, the, the opposite side because I'm silly. <laughs> but yeah, we got we got all the Ray's. I am so impressed with them because they actually like full they they they're full on like epilogue ray and I'm I'm so excited I'm working on my epilogue ray because he will be needed for upcoming things uh in a CMV that we're doing so Lethra did a really really good job and I am so impressed and wanted I'm I'm excited to do my 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 thing my Ray have a tail? My day Ray does have a tail. I did wear my tail. Hee hee. Hee hee. More CMB. Yeah, you guys know that there's... We've already announced that there's going to be a... Uh, how far we've come CMB. So. There is going to be a, a how far we've come CMB. You know what? Chat. If we hit sub goal, I'll give you a bonus thing. And I'll let you see what I have started on the CMB. If we hit sub goal, you'll get a bonus. How's that? You can see what I've done on the CMB so far if we do it. There. Oop. I'll let you sneak peek. I'll let you sneak peek things. I'm bribing you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I bribe. I bribe. I am not above bribery. <laughs> I am not above bribery. <laughs> oh, but I got some fun little things, y'all. Uh, so I could show some of my fun little my fun little guys that we got. If y'all would like, uh, from 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 con things, tee the first one is one I'm already playing with is uh, it's called a worry stone 
It's a little, little cap. It's like a little mushroom cap, but it's like glazed on the inside so that it's soft. And it's just like such a fun little like stim. Just rub, just rub, just feels nice. It's, it's so like, I've never heard of a worry stone before. And then today I found this and was like this rub, rub. <laughs> I will, I will actually. Thank you for the hydrate. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. But I have many little guys. I have many little guys. Also, chat, just so you know, whenever I'm like, yes, I accept bribery, please don't ever feel pressured to actually, like, gift subs and stuff. It's all for, like, slash pause. Teehee. I don't ever want to make you guys, like, feel weird. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm tired, dude. I'm tired. But some fun things. Shall, shall we look at some trinkets? Some trinkets and things? I got a rosy maple moth themed lanyard little guy because of my new monster of the week character is rosy maple moth themed. So I love them very much. And I got little thing based on them. I'm probably going to hang it back on here. I have not shown it to Olive yet. I have got to send it to Olive. <laughs> I've got to send it to Olive. Let's see, what other trinkets do I got? Oh, these are fun trinkets that I added to my cosplays. This one is a little bat themed hair clip. And I actually put it on Ray today when I did my Ray cosplay. Uh, I thought it was really fun because it's kind of bat, kind of dragony, and I think it worked really well in his hair. Because usually for his half up, half down hair, I actually find it's easier to use a hair clip instead of a ponytail. So I used this one because I thought it was really fun. <laughs> so that was a fun like find something to actually directly put in uh, my cosplay. Similar with a cool bracelet that was fun to put on Vast for a while. Uh, it's like a feather wrapped around so that it looks like a feather wrapped around your wrist and was very cool to have put on Vast for a little while. <laughs> we got some D&D &D things. <clears throat> this D&D &D coin, like it's a big old coin, has a D20 and a one. So it's basically a D2 because it's a flip a coin. So flip the coin. Boop. Uh, well, that's a net one. <laughs> so I think that's really fun. It's also just it's 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 weighty and I like it. And something I have been waiting forever to see uh, to get is I always see dice with eye inserts that look like ender eyes. And I've wanted one really bad. So I finally got one. I got a big one. And I can't even turn it towards you guys because it's weighted correctly. It's weighted so that the eye stays looking up so that when you roll it, the eye actually looks up. But there are like eyes in, there's like a floating eye in this that looks like an eye of Ender and I just think it's cool. <laughs> critical hit, critical miss coin. Yeah. What other bits do I got? I have some cute guys. I have more moth things. I got cute guys. I got moth things. I got stuffs. Uh, I need to show Olive so many moth things because I got moth earrings. I got a Mothman pin. <laughs> I got, okay. This one I think is funny because you guys remember uh, Build Fright, right? Right, we did that. Uh, there were these bat earrings that looked so much like... <gasps> Olive! Olive! Olive, I got a thing! Olive, I got a thing! <laughs> Olive, I got a rosy maple moth. Look at it, it's pretty. I'll send you pictures of it. <laughs> Olive, look! <laughs> Olive, it's for Hayden. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'll send you pictures of all my moth things, because I got moth earrings, I got moth keychain. I, yes, I will send you stuff. <laughs> but yes, okay, the thing I was saying, build fright. Um, I couldn't help myself because these earrings look so much like the derpy little bat that I drew for the Build Fright bats that I had to. Look at them. Look at them. 
They're glorious. They're gloriously derpy little bats, and I love them, and they're wonderful. I love them. <laughs> I love them so. Oh wait, speaking of moths! You ready? Speaking of moths? That was so much less climactic <laughs> because I screwed it up. But uh, I got a fan with a lunar moth on it, which actually we got on the first day of con. Hugely helpful for having during con. We literally were using this every day after it because it was so nice to be able to be like, oh, we need to cool down. Ah. <laughs> so I love it. I want to hang it on my wall. It's pretty, but I might also bring it to Ren Fair, so I might not hang it on my wall permanently. <laughs> okay, little guy time. We have a tiny little dragon on books pin. We have Corvid's stickers because magpie, I have to. We have another magpie sticker. Technically it's a chickadee, shut up. It looks like how I draw the dumb little magpies. <laughs> I also have a silly little axolotl sticker, a silly little bee sticker. <laughs> A rainbow gay knife. <laughs> it's a patch. I'm gonna put it on my jacket. <laughs> Am I going as anything specific for Ren Fair? Nope, I'm just gonna do a fun fit. I'm excited. And a silly little sticker that looks like my cat. <laughs> a silly little cat sticker that looks like Shepard. Cause I, cause I gotta. One of my favorite little things I got a tiny 3D printed shark. He's just little and he wiggles. He wiggles. He swim. He swim and he's small. <laughs> he swim and he's small. Yep. He swim and he's small. I love him. He <laughs> little tiny Theo. Exactly. Probably though, some of the coolest things I got. I got some good amethyst okay i'll take them out of the baggie because the baggie's gonna ruin it i got some cool amethyst charms because i'm gonna replace the charm that i got on dan on on vast's uh signal bracelet with these because i think they're prettier amethyst little gems also the necklace i've been wearing if you missed it at the start of stream i said that i got it because it reminds me of jade uh, cause I think it looks perfectly like a little thing for Jade. And I got something pretty cool for Vast cosplay. This is going to be Vast's book. It's got a pair of technically, I believe crows or ravens on the front, but it perfectly has, you know, birds across the front and it's blue and uh, so this is an actual leather browned journal. He gets a very fan. Oh my gosh, it smells like freshly browned leather and paper. That's wonderful. It's just really pretty. It's a very pretty book. I'm so excited to use it. So, hee hee. Maybe I'm working on something with Vast. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'm working on something with Vast soon. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, I like all of the stuff that we got. We got lots of fun things. We got to meet a lot of cool people. We got to just have our picture taken a bajillion times. <laughs> that is just always fun to see when people really enjoy uh, what cosplay we've done. That always just makes me really happy when people really receive the cosplay like really well and are very excited about what we are. Um, and I think we might already have an idea. We already have some concepts about what we will be doing next year. Uh, <laughs> as a fun thing, it was pretty funny. 
uh, in the meantime, after, between Khan, like, going home and going back to the hotel and chilling and being super dead tired at the end of each night, we got through both seasons of Vox Machina because Del had never seen it. <laughs> so and now I got I got her hooked on Vox Machina, which is great. <laughs> uh, I still want to do a Vax cosplay really bad. I just need to think of, like, what? <laughs> Uh, but I do think it, there's like a bunch of cosplays that I have that I would really love to do something with, but I just haven't really been inspired by doing TikTok things. So I am bummed because I want to do stuff. I just need to figure out like either mini CMVs or fun photo shoots to go do. Uh, cause I also have a Geralt of Rivia cosplay that I would love to wear. Um, I just haven't gotten a good excuse to put it together yet, you know? Um, so I really, I really want to, I really want to do Vax, uh, my, my, uh, <laughs> my Gemini Tay is practically Keyleth already, so I could also do a Keyleth cosplay, <laughs> but I have a few fun things coming up in the works, um, I might be working on three different CMVs right now, so, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, showcase videos, shoots, and mini CMVs as, as motivation. That's where I'm kind of doing right now, is leaning into mini CMVs and things like that. Uh, really, really fun, in my opinion, stuff. <laughs> and I am shepherding the CMVs. Yeah, yeah, I'm having fun. It's, it's, it's way more fun for me to do like CMB stuff because it's fun to use the big camera. It's fun to kind of do the cinematography of it. And it's fun because it's something that Daniel and I do together a lot is uh, we do a bunch of stuff uh, where he's, you know, the one filming uh, and he's uh, a big one doing all the really, really cool edits. So I do rough editing and then he does the detail editing. So it's become something that me and my husband do together so that just makes it more fun so yeah i like it we did something pretty cool um i will say to to bribe you more perhaps on the cmv sneak peek which wrong type of peek in that way to go me i can't spell <laughs> i can't spell um we might have gone to an escape room to film Kind of cool. Kind of neat. We might have gone to an escape room because uh, there's an escape room that we like to go to that is designed by the same person who does Denver's Meow Wolf. And so their set is really cool. So we were able to go talk to them and be like, hey, can we use your escape room as a film location? And they were like, yes. <laughs> So, hee hee, I think it's fun. When do you think the CMB will be released? It'll probably be like a three month post Fable finale, like anniversary thing. Uh, we're gonna see how, we've kind of given everyone a long time because a lot of us were super busy this summer. So we're gonna see. I had to do two cosplays for it. Uh, two different characters for it as I filled for one of the other one of the other players uh, so I can give you all a sneak peek of the other character I did <laughs> so sometime in August perhaps yes perhaps is would be cool tee hee yeah I know looks looks want to see it you gotta get to you gotta get to sub goal that's the rules <laughs> perceiving me yep yep <laughs> ah but yeah chat i think that is uh fun things that i did in the past four days we had such a fun time we had a really good nothing like horribly went wrong like last time which was great we really enjoyed that uh and <laughs> thank you for the two gifted subs wilder was live thank you teehee that gets us closer closer we sneak <laughs> but yeah we didn't have anything go terribly wrong this time 
Uh, and I think that that is always nice to not have. <laughs> nice to not have. This week, I believe we will have Myrrh and Bound Lore. Perhaps two Bound Lores. And, y'all, Mythos and Magic has officially been scheduled. Maybe I'll post it in the Discord after. Have I? Have I? I don't think I have. I don't think I've posted it in the Discord yet. Did I? Okay, I don't think so. I don't have an event yet in my Discord, so I will... I will go get it... Uh, probably after this stream, I could probably post it. But Mythos and Magic will be... A uh, little bit late. July. It'll be in late July. We're going for July 24th. July 24th, we will get the return of Mythos and Magic. And I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I have been working on this next section so much. I'm so hyped. <laughs> I'm actually just really hyped for a lot of things coming up. Um, this week we have fun lore. Next week we have a surprise. The week after that we get mythos. And we get big mer things happening. We get we get lots going on. We get lots of things. I'm excited, y'all. We have some good things coming up. It's going to be a busy month. It's going to be a busy month. Hee <laughs> a surprise. Yes. It's good. I'm excited. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, chat. Well, I have been doing stuff for a long four days. I think it is time for me to go chill the fuck out and go plan a bunch of streams. <laughs> and go plan a bunch of shit. <laughs>